last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. What are you going to go to? Going to the bathhouse? the bathhouse? The two of you? In the middle of the night? Definitely a haunting moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet? So wet and warm? I bet you guys. Remove to confirm with local and international censorship laws. Oliver, didn't you? <laughs> and now, back to trying to ditch school. Do it. It'll turn out okay. Hey everyone, it's Vendilla Night here again, and I'm back for more Dark Europa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time, we finished up our free time events and learned that Toko was bullied as, as, was bullied as, as a younger kid. So, how that feels. But, we also learned that Nagi's been a little under the weather. What could this mean? Is Nagi getting sick? I don't know. But, let's find out as the story continues. I can't help it. I need sleep. I tell you, I wasn't for a while. I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped into my bed, it felt like I was falling. Falling into a bottomless pit. Down we go. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Good thing I, I'm just glad I, I, I hit it. Or else that might have hurt. Well, that's not true. Quite true. I, did, I didn't pass out completely. It's more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness. I know that feeling. This is all to say. I was restless. Nah. Nah. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. Within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. Meep. I under... understand. That voice? It's so familiar. Ah, it's... I understand. It's me? I understand. I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Huh? What am I trying to say? Hope. This is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. <laughs> My dream just now. What? So strange. Huh? Uh... Meep. Mm -hmm. 
What the... What did you... Mm. What did you say? Time for theater! Every day, woo, every day, every day is peaceful! Every day is joyful! Happy days with the shrine, wake up to the time you go to sleep! Who's the life of the unchanging? What's in for only the, those unchanging and un ending un 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 happy days of. The, they are born repeating the, forever and ever 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 and ever. No, 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 Time to wake up. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Yep. Eh? There. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Ah. A little deep side to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy, they all occurred in, in the night. I was healthy again! Good night's sleep did the job. All slept was me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I caught, either. It was also... the dream I had. What the hell was that? Was it really even a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to the... to grab the fragments of the dream and wheeled them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. Okay, another fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. Her voice, I didn't really understand. And then... All of a sudden, I was awake! There was a strange person standing next to my bed, wearing a mask. They were holding a knife. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind was, had been attached with my body, bringing up with a fever. I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I, I, don't remember, I, don't, I don't remember what really happened, but still. I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again. Next thing I remember... Kyoko was there again, in my bedroom, in the middle of the night. I'm just seeing this as a pattern with her. But what was she doing in my room? What a strange dream. Ugh. I gotta stop fantasizing about, about Kiri Giri. Oh, what's he say? No, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? Is there any way they confirm that if it was really a dream or not? <laughs> Up in the desk drawer and... Huh? It's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in there. In here. Wait, that means... The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But that's true. Th that makes... This... This all makes even less sense. 
Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko in my bedroom again? What the hell's going on? I don't think I'm gonna figure it out on my own. Let's head to the dining hall. Let me talk to everyone about it. Sure, the sky is blue. Hey, Hina. Um. You gotta be worried. You gotta be, you gotta be worried. You know, what happened to you last night? Worried? I mean. Yeah, right after that time hit, we all went to get you. You're having to ring your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you become, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, that's not that's actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know. So, anyways, what were you doing? I didn't. I didn't feel good. So I went, went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. Why did you come to get me? Something happened? Mm. Well, um, well, lots of stuff actually. I'm, I'm not sure I can really explain. Oh. Let's go meet everyone else, then they can tell you all about it. So, is everyone waiting somewhere or something? That's right. Oh yeah, we stayed up the, the whole night. We, we had a we had an all-nighter. The whole night. <laughs> I lost the rock paper scissors, so I had to get <coughs> <coughs> so I had to cough and then come get the breakfast for everyone. So you got here just in time. Come on, let me carry it. Okay, sure. <laughs> it was in the gym. Hurry up, I'll come meet ya. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? The entire night. I mean, if you're on funeral, man, the birth of your own son, and your own funeral all at once. What? Jeez, to show up now. Jeez, to show up now like it's no big deal. <laughs> you, stay, you, you may have stayed up all night. Like, you sound like a baby in your bed. Just like Hina, everyone was there besides Kyoko. And then I noticed you formed a circle around something. So I saw what that something was. The. For I catch myself, I cried out. Spread out bef in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, no big deal now. No big deal, Nagi. She's not even phase. <laughs> Relax. There's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? Seriously, what are you thinking? If you, turn, if you say turn apart something like that, it isn't dangerous. What's your problem? You're so, you're so annoying. You can't keep up with what's going on. Just stop talking. Hey, come on. 
I guess I handle this uh, this mon I think what's going on, Makoto, but I like ya. Hmm. Take out me found this little fill lying around and then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Before I went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try to talk to Markuma. I wanted to see if he had any disappearance about Kyoko's disappearance. I found him here, just like normal, however. When I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. Saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I went there until nighttime officially began, but still Makuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the disassembly process. The disassembly, disassembly process. <laughs> he was master stroke of genius. A chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. Hmm. One, one thing we discovered is it, he is quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to visit in something like that, anyway? But, besi but, but besides that, I'm wondering is, when did he stop moving all of a sudden? Hmm. I thought maybe he, he might have functioned. I thought maybe he might function, but we didn't find any cause that we're taking him apart. So if he didn't break down... So in other words... Then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected? <laughs> they were probably scared of the master. They ran away to terror. Could it be? I'm gonna get sick or something! The Bonnet came up his announcement this morning, right? Who was that? It's not the mastermind. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. Mm. Mm, that's true. That's true. He plays, this, he plays the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. Hey guys, I don't think. Hey guys, I don't think. I think I don't think right now is a good time for right presentation, Mon. I just found something. What is it? It's. Huh? It's what? Oh, it's a bomb. I'm sure there's one installed in every one of human robot. I'm pretty sure. What? What? A, a bomb! What's oh. super bad? You get rid of it. Uh, um. After that, after that, man. Hmm. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movement is sure to go off. What? What? Listen, sensor. We're serious, Mon? I'm throwing the old shaky, Mon! Just a second! Hey, get together! You're a man, aren't you? Until I, I'm fine, I'm totally fine! Ah! You're so not fine, you're all. Ah! Oh, so probably I mentioned. Most of the sensor is off right now. I just love missing the Hawk of Curry. Uh, don't scare me like that! God, you're like the worst spread the worst most spreadless worm of the century. Don't be mean. Hey Mon! Hey Mon, come on! The search already started! We got to count the race already, Mon! <sighs> Whatever. Just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hang on to it, not gonna do anyone any good. Uh, um Oh yeah, good call, Mon. Well Okay, it's down. Everything is all good, Mon. Here, let's put the bomb down. That was my main concern at the point. My sword glued to Monkuma's remains. His guts all over the full. His guts all over it. Exposed to the world. He stopped moving all of a sudden? Was it really because something ha happened to the mastermind they weren't expecting? What could that have been when I thought about it? Can't help but think. Like the night before. 
be attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Uh, hey, Makoto. Huh? Hey. Don't hurt us. Did you hear the thing we just said? Come on. Huh? Mm -hmm. So to know, what you, what you should k k kind of bring that farm animal? Sorry. Mm. We are saying, since we done this in Mental Marakuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we decided, and we decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear now. The Trident covered the Mastermind's true identity. We're going to break into the Headmaster's room. Really? Naturally. Since the, since the Mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance. Wouldn't you agree? But uh, the Mastermind comes back while we're in there. What? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay in here by yourself. I've got live in the chicken coops. All the other chickens. You can be chicken number six. Such ignorance. <coughs> this is a battle. A fight to death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. Uh. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a choice. We have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna run away, or are you gonna fight? Me? You're right. I'll go with you. It's all clear now. Okay then. We're gonna break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen. So prepare yourselves. <laughs> I'll fly anywhere, master. To the ends of the earth. Sakura, if you can hear me, send me your strength. How about that? I can do this, Mon. I'm a man. I can do it. This. I the I the will, the will to target universe on my head, Mon. We each found termination in our own way, and when we were ready, we left the gym. I think it was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. Actually, I'm not just the one to show so it's bravery. <laughs> just make sure you don't get in his way. Okay. That guy's gonna be watching over us. He's not gonna fight something to help us all to bring to an end. Finally, we the climax, Mon! So, she ever finished the match? Who ever finished it for the mastermind catches it all? Let's go. This, this is where. This is where we expose every last detail of the mastermind. Everyone ready? Hmm. It's locked. As expected. Locked as expected. So, what are you gonna do? What? Isn't it obvious? We're gonna tear this door off its hinges. Huh? Wait, the, the rules say. Hmm. You see, the master mind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But. But, like, my. Like Makoto said, Mon, Master of Mine showed up, did show up while we were in there. So, in other words, we'll have to finish our business before it, that can happen. Hey. Yeah, sure, but. What? We've come this far, we can't back down now. We've agreed to this. This is what we have to do, so we have to do it. <laughs> so beautiful! I mean. Are you serious, Mon? We don't have any choice, we're desperate! Okay. Let's do it, let's rip this door down! Actually. Uh, okay, but how are you gonna do that, Mon? This thing's pretty sturdy. Hmm. We need something sturdy of our own. 
We need something sturdy of our own. What about that one thing? The thing in the tool shed. Oh, so then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the pickaxe, mon. I see. Interesting. That could very well interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Hmm. Okay, now then Toko. What time is it? Mm -hmm. well, 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 when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock. So probably at 9 on the dot now. It's all clear now. Okay. Okay, get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. That's right, I'm unreasonable, Lon! Uh, by myself? Naturally. Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? <laughs> uh, uh, it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. What? What's the time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. It takes you too long to exist your existence from my conscious. <laughs> Unacceptable! With that, Toko ran off as loud as I heard of rabbit elephants. Hey. For sure is the for sure is the man. Are we get like this door down this door? Door down? Hmm. <laughs> no problem is solved by rain away. Find your stones and be a man. He's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know, the we know the danger. If that risk means solving that mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? Even though it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um. Maybe, but maybe, but I'm still maybe, Mon. But I'm still super stressed. I'm still ten seconds hardly talk, Mon. I'm all flub, flub blessed. No. Play flip 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 flap flip flip flap flip blah blah. Flap sauce? Flap sauce? Gross, gross, Mon. Where'd that come from? Wait, genocide, genocide, Jill. Where'd you come from, Mon? You called for me, and so I appear. Hello, hello, hello. It's a wonderful, murderous fiend. He'll get you a razor sharp smile. about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? No you no you seeming imbecile. The pickaxe. Seeping imbecile? Oh master, you wound me you wound me if you're executive level barbs. What's what? I got the boy knows! Seriously though, do you really feed the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Uh, I'm like a free, 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 i But I think we already established that memories don't split and carry over when they switch. Not possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Ah, light, ah, light bulb just went on. I see. That's why I went to the garden. Right? I was supposed to get a pickaxe. <laughs> Alright, we solved one mystery. That means there's one more mystery left. One more mystery. Hmm. Have you reached that certain age? Yep! Now you figure out the idea of object X. So, um. Now what are you talking about? You don't even forget what we're talking about, Mon. You're like missing out on life. You've gotta be kidding! I'm missing out. I'm missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? <laughs> Cut. Orpus. You, you, you hear me? I said corpse. A corpse? Yep. That's right. I found a corpse in the garden. 
You found a corpse in the garden? What, what did you say? Well then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on. We're going to the garden. Okay. Since we entered the garden, I saw it. I don't want to, but. I saw someone lay on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife. Ran their stomach up to the hilt. What the? Are they really dead? For sure, but. Who is it? Wow. A dead body. What's up with that? Who is the mess who is that mass stranger? I don't know. Is it Gary Gary? See she's she's the only one not here. Or is it a new play to the game? Let's find out next time the story continues. Be sure to leave a comment, a like, and a subscribe. Click that bell icon. And if you, if you have this little spare change, check out my Patreon and Amazon wish list. Help me make this better. Help me make this series better. And my hopefully make these videos better. And my. I mean, I guess that's little effects on my videos. Or not. Whatever. But in the meantime, never stop learning and enjoy the randomness. I'll see you. I'll see you next time. The story continues. Bye.